Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age. So, end of the last video right there. Ran around, ran up, went to the top of the tower, nothing in there, and here we are, continuing to explore the wall. And I have to go back to the war room because I think everybody I sent up to do something is, has returned. We need to get to Varric. That's a good question. Hello, Varric. Oh, right. Recreate the custom appearance of your champion Kirkwall. I didn't do a custom appearance. Appearance. Sure. What up, Hawk? Inquisitor, meet. Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though, I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first, but after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. This is weird. Two characters that have been like the main characters of my stories, well, you know, all of our stories, well, talking to each other. Huh. You're lucky it was just a single city. I've got half of Thetis. You're doing everything you can to protect them. Does it ever get any easier? I'll let you know. I don't envy you, Inquisitor. But I may be able to help you. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. Oh, no. So Corypheus has the Venatori, the Red Templars, and now possibly the Wardens as well? Wonderful. I didn't come this far just to give you bad news. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. Okay. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They look like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. Okay. I appreciate the help. I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. Wow. Hawk. You said you thought you killed Corypheus? The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back. Or maybe it's old Tevinter magic. But he was dead. I swear it. Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up, and the exalted march never came. Okay. Huh, Anders. I'd like to know more about Anders. Like. I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. He was crazy.
crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him except this insane need to start a war no one could win. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? When the Wardens began acting strangely, I had my friend Aveline take my brother out of the Free Marches. My uncle Gamlin's still in Kirkwall. Everyone else I used to know? They're pretty much scattered to the winds. Mm -hmm. I assume Beric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition? What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. Okay. Cool. Cool. Let's keep exploring. <laughs> Hawk. Jeez. Whoa. Whose room is this? Oh boy. Uh, okay, let's explore this building. Sounds make it seem like this is a tavern. Everyone's falling asleep. Really a song about Sarah? <laughs> Alright. That's pretty cool. I hope I can help somehow. Maybe cleaning? Um Inquisitor, I um I joined Sutherland worship. I saw some bandits, so I came to warn people. I'll let your warriors know and then stay out of the way. New to the crew, a young hopeful operation available. Okay. Song about Sarah. Was there anything else in here I was missing? Oh, this is a cool little room. Alright, yeah. These bard songs, I kind of just... But Liliana? Thank 
Sorry, I'm just kind of getting into the song. All the songs are in here. Inquisitor, that's got a good ring to it. We're happy oh, to be here, right. Your Worship. You need anything? Let me know. Don't really know about the Chargers. Can you talk about the Bulls, Chargers. Best company you'll find from here to the Anderfels. In my time with the Chief, we've gone up against everything from bandits to magic trees. We're expensive, but you'll never doubt we're worth it. Want to know anything in particular? Do the Chargers specialize in anything from a tactical standpoint? Bull doesn't want us large enough to work as an army. We're better as shock troops to skirmishers. We've got archers for hitting enemy infantry, Dalish with ma more archery, <laughs> and Skinner and her people on the flanks. Rocky <laughs> handles fortifications and traps, and Stitches keeps us all fighting. They mostly hold back. I'll lead the frontline fighters with Grim, and the Chief goes wherever he can hit something. <laughs> the day of this met more archery. <laughs> The apostate mages, you mean? Ugh, that was pretty good. You said something about everything from bandits to magic trees. I'll admit to some curiosity. Right. Sylvans. That's what Dalish called them. Apparently spirits can possess trees, too. Some noble in the Dales, and they really don't like it when you call them Dalish nobles, had a haunted forest. His family had abandoned the land, but he wanted it back. The chief bought us all axes, and in we went. Between the axes and the torches, the Sylvans weren't too bad. Worst part was the squirrels. Are there rules for how mercenaries operate? If you don't want some noble to treat you like bandits, yes. There's also a code of conduct most companies hold to. Keeps things civilized on the battlefield. We accept surrenders for ransom from mercenaries, nobles, and soldiers wearing a lord's colors. Our prisoners are treated well, injuries tended. We'd want the same for any of ours who got captured. Hmm. We'll talk later. It's a cool tavern. Archery contest Saturday. All challengers welcome. Sisterly the honor to judge. Except Varric. <laughs> and Bianca's messed up. <laughs> Why isn't Varric allowed? Hello. Inquisitor. And you are the bartender, Gavin. The bartender. The bartender? You were expecting. Welcome to the Inquisition. Thank you. Welcome to the tavern. <laughs> What's the current mood? Sprightly. This man doesn't say much. Where did you study? I assume you're trained. In bartending? I'm no alchemist. You mix the bottles that don't taste like nug and you pretend spills it. I suppose I trained at home during feast day family visits. My specialty is ale. Old Antiban recipe. Secret is ale. <laughs> You're a bit of a hard ass. Why are you here? And if I could fight, I'd be in a helmet. If I was a mage, I'd throw fire. And probably be dead. But I can't do anything. Just like the hundreds of people who can't do anything. Who make sure the thousands who can do something can do it. Besides, if you know a safer place than your castle, do share. Huh. All right. What's the word out there? Quiet. Too quiet. No, wait. It's just quiet enough. <laughs> All right. I need to listen to the soundtrack. All these unique songs. I could probably just sit here all day in, in the tavern and listen to the the bard. <laughs> I'm not even joking. What is this? A place for all in service here to rest, recoup, and persevere. Uh, the ways the heart remember best, your saving grace, the herald's rest. <sighs> okay. 
So Iron Bowl and Cassandra are back in there. Wow, that song just cuts off. Alright, let's let's go over here. Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. I got something right. Yeah, sure. What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on. It'll be worth your time. I promise. Evening. Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jader. Well, near Jader. Mira. I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after a shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. He doesn't talk much. <laughs> uh, I see what you're doing here, buddy. Alright. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, some demons, or I like it. Or whatever that Corypheus asshole is. This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. Next empire? Uh, well, long as I get paid, <laughs> I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't think the chant of light as much as I should. But you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option. But a few faces might help. Hmm. You made it sound like you didn't like the Inquisition. People don't always tell the truth when you're polite. You've got to poke them a bit. But those two soldiers might think you're an asshole. So... <laughs> He doesn't care. Um. It was good to get their perspective. Yeah. Sounds like we could use an easy win for boys like Tanner. And vets like Mira have seen enough to be wary. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that. No matter what comes next. That's pretty cool. He doesn't talk much. Huh. <laughs> Scott Harding? What up? Scott Harding. Your worship. Shouldn't you be out there scouting? In a bit. <laughs> We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> <laughs> so who's Scout Harding really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by that thing out there. What's been going on? Seeker Cassandra came through here, looking like a storm cloud. That's just her face, though, isn't it? <laughs> What's been going on? Ambassador Montelier sent me a basket of flowers to thank me for my work with the Inquisition. She's so lovely. <laughs> What's been going on? Varric came by to talk. He told me a story about copper miracles. Okay. What's been going on? What's been going on? Madame de Fair said hello to me. Or maybe she was waving at someone else and I just thought she was. Yeah, that's probably what happened. What's been going on? Dorian's awfully pretty, isn't he? <laughs> What's been going on? What's been going on? Relaxing, taking a breath. You need to sometimes to keep sane. All right, we'll ask you what's going on later. I have to go. Thank you for telling me what's going on. All right, we'll go to uh, is that Cassandra over here. 
Wait, what happened to Iron Bull? Oh, he moved backwards. Cassandra, how's it going? You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. <laughs> you kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? <laughs> I forgot. That's right, Dragon Age 2, in case you don't know. The, it starts out with Cassandra interrogating Varric, asking where the hell Hawk is. And so Varric tells the entire story of Dragon Age 2, but claims to not know where Hawk went. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess she, I would be pissed too. I am just going to... Uh, I'm going to stay out of this one. I expected you to tell the truth. I told you what was at stake. So I just hand him over on your say-so? It's okay, Hawk. This zealot isn't crazy. I promise. <sighs> Table Look flip. She's finally lost it. This is funny. <laughs> alright, alright. We have to be the Inquisitor here. I, I want to say this is funny, but I'll say this. Alright. You both made your point. We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. Hawk was our only hope. He was the champion of Kirkwall. The mages respected him. And you kept him from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy. I mean, Hawk would have just died. You can't change the past, Cassandra. So I must accept what? That the Maker wanted all this to happen? That he... That he... Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Hey, now. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept him secret. He's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, I like both of you. We we need to work together. Attacking him now won't help us, Cassandra. Ha! Exactly. And you better not be keeping anything else from us. Ah, I understand. So, is there anything else you want to say? <laughs> I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just go. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, he'd be dead too. You people have done enough to him. I believed him. He spun his story for me, and I swallowed it. If I just explained what was at stake, if I just made him understand... But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. Hmm. I don't know if this is the time to say I still like you. I feel, it's, it's weird. I feel like all the romance options with Cassandra are just traps. Could have been different. What if you hadn't believed him and you tracked Hawk down? Honestly, Hawk might not even have agreed to become Inquisitor. He supported the Mage Rebellion after all. He wouldn't have trusted me for a second. But this isn't about Hawk or even Varric. Not truly. I should have been more careful. I should have been smarter. I don't deserve to be here. Ah, oh, darn it, we lost the option. Have you looked at our Inquisition, Cassandra? We're all fools here. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me feel better? More at home, maybe. I want you to know, I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. You're... 
not what I pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing. Hmm. Man. Okay. So now, those two icons are still here. But they are not, unless... Yeah, okay, so we must have to talk to everybody before... Like, everyone resets to be able to talk again. Uh, Sarah? So, Inquisitor. It's Inquisitor now, right? Remember that war we talked about stopping? Full of little baddies I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' archdemon, is it? Draste, what does step in? Let me know what she says. I could use some clarification myself. It's swearing, not praying. She doesn't answer. Not like she's supposed to. I know what happened to you, or what everyone here thinks happened. It seems... I don't know what it seems. The ancient thing trying to kill us seems pretty real. Don't get me started. Oh, wait. Too late, right? A magister who cracked the Black City. It's a hazy dream, right? I mean, if it's real, real, then the seat of the Maker? Real thing. A seat needs a book, so the Maker? Real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world? Real things. It's too far, isn't it? I just want to plug the skyhole rubbish so I can go play. I, sometimes I can't follow Sarah. You joined to help the little people caught up in this. But do you believe or not? In Andraste? Of course. But you doubt what you're seeing and hearing. It can't be true, true. Even fanatics don't want to be this right. Look, I have arrows. I can make this Carithalus believe in those. Good enough? Please be good sure. enough. I'm fighting magisters. I need you aiming higher than simple selfishness. Lumpy wants to be a god, and you glow or something. I just want to fix things so I don't have to think about what's real or not. High enough, my lord? Hey. You're starting to not sound completely crazy. I know, scary, isn't it? So bring him on. But first, food. I'm starving. I yeah okay. Um, Vivian. It was a mistake to use Haven as a base of operations. The town was completely indefensible. A lot of our people just died. We will discuss whose fault that is later. Now is always the time, my dear. The past cannot be changed, and tomorrow may never come. You left yourself vulnerable to attack. It was a miscalculation, one that I'm sure you won't repeat. But the enemy struck a serious blow against you and the Inquisition. We must recognize that. You must. Mind your own business. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not going to forgive what happened at Haven. Corypheus will answer for what he's done. You're angry? Good. Anger can save you when everything else is gone. Just make sure you put it to good use. Our enemy advances, Inquisitor. We must not sit idly by. Act first and teach them to fear us. You can become the leader the faithful require, but you must do it soon. Okay. Black one. So this is Skyhold. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. Not 
going to get the better of us again. We lost good soldiers that day, loyal men and women. Let him come. I swear I'll take the Twister Bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. Watch that this enthusiasm of yours doesn't get you killed. I wouldn't be the first to die in your service. The people flock to your mm. banner, eager to fight for the Herald of Andraste. Their faith is a leash, and your Inquisition has taken hold of it. Okay. Tell me honestly, are you what they say you are? Andraste's chosen. Dude, I don't know. There's so little I remember. What if they're right? Does it even matter? Don't you see what you are to them? Without you, they'd be consumed by despair. We all would. They need you to be Andraste's messenger. It gives them hope. The truth doesn't matter. Ah, uh, listen to me talk. Your time is valuable and I've wasted enough of it. Guess we did the wrong answer there? I don't know. Ah, oh, cool little watchtower out there. Oh, that's those are camps. Oh, wow, I just kind of noticed all the little tents and stuff. Cool. Alright, well, the exploration will continue in the next episode, I guess. There's still a door over there we have to go th through. We gotta go down there. Uh, who are we missing talking to-wise? Did we talk to everybody? I think we talked to everyone. <sighs> gotta go back to the war table. Uh, so much still to do. Good gosh. Uh, thanks for watching, though. I'll see you all next time. Take care.